Hello, welcome to this new video of the now popular series 213 in 2013. I'm Celine Navarro, garden girl at twopeasinabucket.com. Each week, we're giving you prompts to inspire you throughout the year. At the end of 2013, you'll get 213 prompts to get started on any kind of creative projects. This week, I would like to show you a brand new layout that I videotaped a while ago. I have picked five new prompts to inspire you this week. Prompt number one, use bold pattern papers. So for this layout, I decided to use the Studio Calico Print Shop line um, because I have been tempted to create a mixed media kind of layout um, for this video. So I decided to use this line because it is bold, it is inspiring, and I really like the mixed media feel that you can get um, in this line. Um, my choice was to use a black and white um, pattern paper as the background, but to cover it with a cream kind of flowery pattern paper and a really colorful one. And then I'm going to uh, alter it with gesso. Prop number two is Go Mix Media, which leads me to the gesso part. So basically, I glued my pattern paper um, on my background, and then I'm going to add a really thin layer of gesso here. So I'm using a Starbucks um, gift card to actually spread the gesso. I really want something really thin. I don't want to cover the design of the paper. I mean, there's no point in covering pattern paper with a b white acrylic paint. Um, and when the gesso is dry, I'm just going to add a layer of water and then I'm going to play with mist so that I get some kind of a watercolor kind of look on my layout here. I'm just using a, um, my heat gun to make it dry faster. And then when it's not that dry, I'm, go I'm going to get rid of um, the mist with, um, with um, towel paper here. And then I'm going to use my heat gun again to actually dry um, my background. Um, then I'm using a mask and some more gesso to add um, some kind of, you know, and writing kind of look for this layout because... It reminds me of the background that I'm using on there. And then I've got these um, white and writing compared to my black and writing. Prompt number three, go crazy. Use a pizza cutter. So this is kind of a weird thing, but I'm using a pizza cutter to create um, flowery, um, really thin lines um, that I couldn't do with a brush. So basically you use a pizza cutter to um, draw on your layout. And then I'm using a, a, a water brush to actually add um, some, some color inside the flower that I'm creating on my background. And then I'm taking the X's off with some paper here. So you can really get really thin lines here and create like, lines or circles flowers and it's really easy to use you need to practice a little bit to get used to it but really honestly try this technique it's it's really fun Prompt number four, liquid soap and mist equals fun. So this is another weird technique that I have for you. Uh, basically, i mixing um, water and mist and also liquid soap. So basically the one that you use for, you know, clean your plates or whatever you have. And then I'm using a straw and then I'm going to make bubbles on my layout with this mix of mist, water, and liquid soap. It's not really easy to make at first. I mean, you're going to make not mistake, but know that if you're working on gesso, the, the, the bubble won't dry right away. So you will be able to wipe it off if needed. But when you get used to it, you can actually create really, really cool, colorful bubbles with that technique. So you really need to 
um, practice. You can see here that it's getting easier and easier, but honestly, you can get really fun techniques with that. So here's my final background here. So you can see my um, liquid soap misted kind of, you know, bubbles um, on my background. And then I'm just going to add a couple of tags here and there um, beneath one of my um, background because I didn't, I didn't use the sewing machine yet to uh, attach those two parts together. So I'm just going to add a couple of tags and a two piece in a bucket exclusive wood um, tags that I'm going to add here. And then I'm going to use my sewing machine to attach them all together uh, on my layout. Prop number five, use a photo of you when you were a kid. Um, lately, I've been doing a um, online class in France about um, using old photos of ourselves in layouts and talk about our history and memories and things like this. And I've pulled out so many pictures of me when I was a kid with my parents and sister and family and friends and, you know, in all kind of things. My dad was a really good photographer and I have like tons and tons of photos of myself. So, <coughs> excuse me, lately I've been scrapbooking a lot of pictures of myself um, with my mom and dad and sister. So I really wanted to invite you to do the same because it feels so good to actually remember things that when we were a kid, because I think we, we've been scrapbooking a lot of pictures of our kids and family and who who's going to scrapbook about us? I mean, who, who scrapbooked about us when we were a kid? Um, probably your mom was a scrapbooker at that time. But today, I think we deserve to have a own, a, a own album about ourselves when we were a kid. So I truly truly invite you to scan and print some picture of you when you were a kid so to be back on the on the layout so basically when my background is done I don't have a lot a lot of things to do because um, it's already busy with colors and textures so I'm just adding a couple of stickers and rub-ons and my title here and there and in some badges and this is it this is it my layout is done, so it's been a really fun layout to do. So what I do here is that I'm mixing two different thickers for my um, title because I really want to catch the eye of the viewer with that technique and it's got and it has the title is near the photo I mean the viewer will be drawn directly on my photo thanks to the title you know what I mean and then I'm just going to add a couple of embellishments here and there and the last thing that I'm going to do on this layout is write my journaling so basically, I didn't want to write my journaling on, you know, um, the background and the texture because I really wanted to keep some um, mixed media kind of feel for this layout because it's warm, it's texture, it's colorful. So I just wrote um, a few lines of journaling um, on some of the tags that I have here. So, um, yes, this is it. So once the journaling is done, you just, um, you just need to, you know, enjoy and look at the pictures and remember, um, you know, some good memories here. So this is my final layout and, um, I really like how it turned out. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you will try the pizza cutter technique and the liquid soap technique. Um, it's not easy at first because you need to get used to it, but give it a try. I mean, it can be fun. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.